So we've been looking at how to actually set ourselves up properly, this uh, controlling it from, from up to here, the control centre, upper arms and shoulders, scapula, everything nicely down together. Then just freewheeling back and forward, the lovely swing. That's by, by the way of definition, swing. How to get an object freewheeling through space with no outside interference. Inevitably, we want to interfere from our arms and shoulders rather than swinging back and forward. Now the problem with this is though, if I don't hold it cor uh, correctly, I've got a problem. Um, so I said to you, by squeezing the arms together, our hands automatically get into the correct neutral position. The creases between my thumb and forefinger here, they're running parallel to each other and they're pointing straight in. They're not up towards my right shoulder. That's, I don't know why that's happened um, or come into our sort of golfing terms, <laughs> it's not right. Uh, the neutral position is what we're looking for. That allows us to really just let everything go naturally. Now, too often we see people holding the club, you know, the bottom hand is right under like so, which is equivalent of setting up and doing this. And you can see what's gonna happen now. It's, I can't really swing properly anymore. I've got a real problem with the whole thing. So it comes really to setting my arms together and getting that feeling of just putting the, palm, the hands together. If I just slid my left hand down, what you're seeing now, this hollow, my right hand, left thumb, just fits nicely in there. And from there, you're not grasping it with the whole, you know, all you're doing with your, this right hand is that with your fingers. That's it. So, hands together, down. Left hand, again, not, not a great big fist. It's, it's fingers together like so. Not in here. And then right hand, same feeling there. So this part of my hand, as I do this little drill without the club, it's still kind of straight, it's not here. So, putting the arms together, my left hand just comes onto the club having set that position already here, that's it. And my right hand, I do the overlap, uh, which I would suggest everyone does. Don't really like this for a, a reason, I'll talk some other time. Then fingers onto the club. But remember, that connection. Um, my left thumb is gonna get covered by the palm of my right hand. And then it's my fingers around the club here. Definitely, definitely not bunching my hands up like so. So that really is the correct grip. Now you can see now my the creases here point in the same direction, straight into me, and it's very neat and tidy. There's no gap here. The main pressure point of the right hand is actually, it's like here. Definitely not pincering it with my thumb forefinger. If I was just sitting down now and just fiddling about, just getting the feel of this, this grip, this would be a wee exercise you could be doing. But remember, a correct grip really is crucial to completely freewheeling that motion.